The Ministry of Defense has signed a Rs. 2095.70 core contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited to buy Invar laser-guided anti-tank missiles under the Buy Indian category. These missiles will significantly enhance the firepower and accuracy of the Indian Army's T-90 tanks, improving their performance in mechanized operations. The deal highlights the government's push for self-reliance in defense by using the capabilities of public sector units and promoting advanced technologies within Indian industries. South Korea's HD Hyundai Heavy Industries and India's Cochin Shipyard Limited have signed a landmark MOU to jointly pursue the Indian Navy's landing platform dock program. The pact unveiled on November 11, 2025, aims to blend Korean shipbuilding expertise with Indian production under Atmanirbhar Bharat. Envisioned as 30,000-ton amphibious assault ships, the LPDs will boost India's blue water capabilities amid rising Indo-Pacific tensions and align with the Ministry of Defense's Technology Perspective and Capability Roadmap 2025 Roadmap. The Philippine Marine Corps has inducted its first BrahMos shore-based missile battery, marking a major leap in maritime deterrence against Chinese assertiveness. Unveiled on November 10, 2025 in Zambales province, the system, an export variant of India's BrahMos Block 1 supersonic cruise missile, was acquired under a $320 million deal with BrahMos Aerospace. With eight ready-to-fire Mach 3 missiles and 290 kilometers range, the deployment cements Manila's Horizon 2 modernization and deepens Indo-Philippine defense ties. India's DRDO has developed a homegrown vapor compression machine to manage extreme heat loads from AESA radars, a key milestone in the Su-30 MKI upgrade program. The closed-loop cooling system, using our 134A refrigerant, and Jet A1 fuel-based heat rejection efficiently dissipates up to 10.5 kilowatts of thermal energy, ensuring radar reliability and longevity. Tested at Chitradurga, the VCM boosts self-reliance in avionics cooling and could be adapted for Tejas MK2 and AMCA platforms. With only three of five contracted S-400 air defense regiments delivered, India has urged Moscow to provide a concrete delivery timeline for the remaining two or risk losing follow-on orders. Delays linked to sanctions and Russia's Ukraine commitments have pushed expected completion to 2026 to 27, straining India's northern and western air defense coverage. The Ministry of Defense is weighing alternatives, including Israel's Barak 8, Akash NG, and Project Kusha, amid concerns over Russia's production reliability. As India seeks CCS approval for its 45,000-ton IAC-2, the UK and France are aggressively pitching designs for the larger 65,000 to 70,000-ton Katabar carrier, INS Vishal. Both nations offer MLs, arrested recovery tech and co-design options, France via its PANG program, and the UK via BE's Queen Elizabeth class expertise. With the Navy prioritizing nuclear propulsion and Katabar capabilities, these proposals aim to shape India's third carrier and its 2035 three-carrier ambition. DRDO is developing the DAPA radar, an advanced indigenous S-band 4D radar that can detect and track everything from fast fighter jets to slow drones. Built with fully digital TR modules and adaptive beamforming, it offers high accuracy, strong jamming resistance, and multiple operating modes. Its modular design supports future upgrades and various defense roles. Most components are already built in-house, with full system trials planned for 2026 and deployment expected by the late 2020s. The Indian Army is upgrading its Bofors FH-77 155mm howitzers with new electric recoil systems and battery-powered APUs to boost reliability, firing speed, and stealth. Hyderabad-based NT power system 
has been selected as the lowest bidder for the electric drive component. The upgrade will replace aging hydraulic parts, improve barrel life, enable quieter movement, and integrate better with digital fire control networks. Prototype trials are planned for 2026, extending the gun's service life by up to 20 years. India's final batch of three Apache H-64E attack helicopters has been delayed after Turkey had denied overflight clearance to the Antonov and 124 transporting them. The transport aircraft, which had successfully used the same route in August, was forced to remain in the UK for eight days before returning to the US due to lack of alternative flight corridors for oversized cargo. Boeing has confirmed the issue was purely logistical and is now preparing a revised delivery schedule with US and Indian authorities. While the setback may slightly push timelines, the Indian Army's Apache induction plans remain largely on track. In a major boost to Atmanerber Bharat, France's Safran aircraft engines has proposed a fully indigenous 120 to 140 kN turbofan engine for India's AMCA stealth fighter to be 100% manufactured in India under complete transfer of technology. Estimated at $7 billion, the project, developed with DRDO's GTRE, aims to create a self-reliant supply chain, from single crystal blades to digital control units. The high-thrust engine will power AMCA MK2 and TED BF, offering 20% higher efficiency and 3D thrust vectoring. If approved, it could make India a global aero engine hub by 2035, reducing foreign dependence and generating thousands of high-tech manufacturing jobs. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.